Welcome back, folks. Two more. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist. I'm back! I'm back after six more months. This Let's Play starting to get on my nerves, to be honest, just because of the amount of time I keep putting it on the back burner. Um, it's even got my old logo look. Ah, I've got to change that at some point. Uh, I'll change that for the next episode. Why not? But, yeah, it's been six months since the last one. The last one was around Christmas time, and uh, now... I did actually do the um, uh, the Cosmic Chaos one, but I'll obviously do it again because I didn't do it on recording. So let's do some Cosmic Chaos here in the Yugo Zexalera. At least we get to play as Kite again. So that's uh, quite nice. They also really take out quite a lot of the, uh, of the, of essentially the Heartland, uh, the Heartland Cup, which is, uh, to be honest, Zexal's a bit weird. When it comes to that, um, Zexal, I probably should have gone second, I think, but never mind. Um, Zexal's seasons, I don't know what it's like for the uh, uh, for the Japanese um, anime, but for the dub, there's so little, like because usually a season ends with you know the, the essentially the end of the um, the end of the story arc. Zexal was the time when they stopped doing that, and essentially they brought out a new series, uh, a new season, whenever, <laughs> whenever it got a new intro, pretty much. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got Galaxy Wizard. Once per turn, you can increase this card level by four until the end phase. You can tribute this card, add one Galaxy card to your hand from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Call the Haunted. That's always good. Source of Revealing Light's also always good. And Photon Thresher. Um. Uh, Okay, that's that's a pretty strong beat stick to kick off with, so a 2100 attack Photon Thrasher isn't too bad. And I will play Call of the Haunted face down. Uh, Galaxy Expedition, if you control a level 5 or higher Photon or Galaxy Monster, especially summon one level 5 or higher Photon Galaxy or Galaxy Monster from your deck in face up defense position. You can only activate one Galaxy Expedition per turn. Okay, well that's kind of pointless for me now. But yeah, we're going up against uh, Quinton, one of uh, Vectrix's boys. Um, he holds number nine, Dyson Sphere, which is a huge thing. It is huge. It's a big, big beefy monster. We now have Galaxy Zero. Target one photon or galaxy monster you control. Special summon in face attack position. Oh, in my graveyard. Well, I don't have I don't have it in my graveyard yet. And equipped with this card, it cannot attack or activate its effects. It will be destroyed during the battle phase. You can destroy this card instead. When this card leaves the field, the equipped monster attack becomes zero. Okay. Um. Do you know what? I am actually going to play you, Galaxy Wizard. And I want to know what that is. I'm activating Swords of Revealing Light. It's a Jade Knight. Okay, when this card's in t attack position, well, it's not. So, this, this card is useless. Is indeed useless. I am going to activate the effect of Galaxy Wizard. I could increase the level of monster, but I'm going to add one card from my deck to my hand. Uh, I I could chain. Oh, hang on! I've got quite an interest in play here. I could chain Call of the Haunted, bring back Galaxy Wizard, <laughs> and use it again. That's not bad. I could chain that, get Galaxy Wizard back on the field. Activates effect to get, oh, I don't know, uh, a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon, for example. Um, I probably need something else first, though. Is this something I can special summon? Um, I don't think I do, actually. I mean, I would like something like Galaxy Tyranno. Um, or Galaxy Knight. I do have a Photon Monster, so I can normal summon this card without tributing, but... I've already used my normal summon, unfortunately. But I will take Galaxy Knight. And then I'll activate him again! And I shall, yep, add one designated card from my uh, deck to my hand. And this time it's going to be Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon, because of course it bloody well is! Right, that allows Thrasher to attack, which is fine by me. Uh, I hope you don't have anything to, uh, negate this attack or kill my Thrasher. You actually don't. Oh, wait. You weren't in attack mode. 
Machine time monsters you control with 1200 or less attacks can't be destroyed by trap effects or cats. Very situational. When this card is destroyed by ah, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level four machine light monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. Well, Thrasher survives, and really, unless you uh, can get rid of it with uh, an effect, Thrasher is not going anywhere. Which means I can summon Galaxy Knight next turn, which is quite nice. It's one turn on Swords of Revealing Light. My draw is Galaxy Tyranno. Lovely. I can just normal summon you. Uh, yep, I will normal summon Galaxy Knight without tributing. Lovely. Okay. His attack does go down to 1800, which isn't brilliant. Um, but I can get... I can use all these now. Special summon one level 5 or higher... Uh, Photon or Galaxy monster from your deck in face-up defense position. Uh, you can only activate one... Okay. Do you know what? I'm actually considering doing that. I could also get you back, Mr. Galaxy Wizard. However, it can't attack and activate its effect, and it would be... And, um, yeah. That's not... I mean, that's that's good for XC summons, so I really do not want to be doing that. Um, I will, however, play Galaxy Expedition. And I could just get a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon on the field immediately. Sounds good to me. 2500 defense is still quite good. And I can get another one on the field by getting rid of Thrasher Knight. If I want to. Actually, I can just do it now. I can just special summon it from my hand. Uh, the problem is n I can't use Knight. I'm probably going to... I mean, yeah, you're, you're kind of pointless to me now at the moment, at least, but... Um, I will go into my battle phase. I will try and attack over with the Galaxy Knight. It didn't, okay. Didn't lose any life points, though. That's fine. I can... T I can, um... Switch Photon Dragon to uh, <coughs> attack mode this turn. <coughs> so that's all good for me. Okay, second turn on Swords of Revealing Light. We get uh, Ace Light. A Cellite. If you control no monsters, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Photon or Galaxy monster from your deck. You can activate one uh, Ace Cellite per turn. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you activate this card. Okay, well, that's a bit situational. I could summon Galaxy Tyranno here. When you control, when a Galaxy monster you control is targeted for an attack. Okay, I need, I need to hopefully get this targeted on something. I mean, this. Okay, the knight, knight's back up to twenty-eight. That's actually really good for me. Uh, I'm gonna switch Photon Dragon to attack mode. And uh, Thrash is kind of bad at this point. I mean, I guess. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It says I can special summon. It doesn't mean I have to. So I'm going to bring Galaxy Wizard back. Aha! Uh -huh. And then I can just normal tribute summon using Thrasher and Wizard, since they're both useless really at this point, to summon my second Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which means I can actually, if I really want to, go into Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Uh, negate the effects of all of the face-up monsters uh, currently on the field once per turn. You can detach an Xyz material from this card. Detach all Xyz materials from monsters. Okay, that's not great. Uh, you can attack as many, uh, up to as many times during each battle phase this turn. Okay, well, that's not incredibly useful now, but could be useful later. Right. Galaxy Knight. Murder. You're dead, Mr. Jade Knight. You bring forth another Jade Knight. Okay, milling your deck, are you? Well, fair enough for you. My first Galaxy Eyes! Uh, you can target the monster and banish both. At the end of the battle phase, return uh, any banished monsters of this effect field. If the other monster is the next easy monster. Okay, nah. I don't want to do that. I just want to straight up murder it. It's a Planet Pathfinder! You can tribute this card and add one field spell card from your deck to your hand. Well, you didn't do that. So, uh, here's 300 damage for you, Quinton. Enjoy that. Well, uh, I could very well win next turn. I could very well win next turn. It's a face-up defense card. Oh, because of swords. Wow! No, it's a special summon. That's why. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card, uh, but its original attack and defense become halved. During each of your standby phases, increase the level of this card by one. Okay, the Solar Windjammer. 
Um, I can't really use these uh, Galaxy Tyrannos, which means I can't actually win this turn, which is a right shame. I'm going to get rid of your Jammer, and I'm going to get rid of your, um, of your other card. It's the other Jade Knight. Well, there go all your Jade Knights. Now Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon gets to attack you again. What are those two face downs, Quinton? Because you have not used this. You've not used them this entire turn. Battle footballer in attack mode? Why? Why in attack mode? Okay, I'm summoning Photon Crusher. Why is it in attack mode? I'm going to attack it with Crusher. Okay. And... Ah, Birthright. Okay. That makes se Really? I mean, I'm going to continue my, my attack. Birthright's actually a card I actually have in real life. Um, activate this card by targeting one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon uh, that target in face of attack position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. I don't understand why you just didn't put it in defense mode. His defense is quite good. Quinton, you are dumb and your AI is also dumb. Victory for me. We have high-fived the sky even more with some dual points and stuff and gravity blaster and that was bloody easy really, wasn't it? All right. Uh, so what's next? Swimming with sharks. Ah, it's shark versus quattro. The good old rematch of the world dual carnival. That's what it's called. We're playing a shark here, so we're going up against gimmick puppets, which is going to be awkward. Oh, I, I swear, in this duel, right, the reason this all is all about is because Quattro planted his cards close to where um, Shark was. Shark looked at his opponent's cards, he was about to be facing him at some point in like some sort of tournament, and then got disqualified for looking at his opponent's cards. Alright, I'm there going, well, Shark, you probably would have lost the duel anyway because your cards suck. Really do. Apart from Shocktopus, Shocktopus is awesome, but the rest of them are crap. Quattro can just go straight into level 8 whenever he wants. Uh, hello. Hello, Double Mirror Force. Nice to see you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, really? We're, we're, we're not starting out with uh, with, uh, with a strings or a giant grinder, are we? Ha! <laughs> Who'd have thought that? You drip this card to uh, target one spell trap card on the field and destroy it. Okay. I mean, it's got to be Hammer Shark, right? Strongest monster I've got. Hammer Shark it is. I am going to set a Mirror Force down. I would very much like to set a Mirror Force. Attack that. It is Humpty Dumpty. Okay, nice. Good start for me. So, yes, Quattro's deck... Uh, and there goes my Mirror Force. So, yeah, Quattro's deck is Gimmick Puppets. Gimmick Puppets are annoying. Uh, of course, you're going to put Dreary Doll there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, Gimmick Puppets are annoying, mostly level 8. Uh, but on some occasions they can be they can be different from that. Uh, I am going to play Deep Sweeper because I desperately need to get some attack on the board, uh, and, I, and to be honest, I need to get some damage on the board at this point uh, because I want to try and end this quickly before Quattro is able to get any level eights on the field. He needs level eight to uh, synchro summon, not synchro summon, XZ summon. Sorry, Ugh, too busy in five Ds. So, this is quite a nice start, actually. He's not playing the same ways that he's absolutely murdered me before. So, I'm quite happy about that. Shocktopus is coming out next. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Quattro. Oh, dear. I'm getting the XC summon this time. Are you just going to give me this win? I can, I can XC summon into number 32, Shark Drake. Uh, requires three level four monsters. Once per turn, when this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Special summon the destroyed monster to your opponent's side of the field in attack position. Also, it loses 1,000 attack. And if you do summon this way, this card can make a second attack during this battle phase. Shark Drake is really a card that you want to use in a shock situation when your opponent does have something in attack mode that you can take advantage of. Right now, it's just a simple defensive card, but I'm hoping that that thing has very low attack, because gimmick puppets usually do. I could also Chaos Xyz into uh, number, uh, Chaos number 32, Shark Drake Vice, which requires four level four water monsters, 
Or you could also Xyz summon this card by using number 32, Shark Drake. You control as Xyz material. Uh, Xyz materials attached to that monster also become Xyz materials in this card. During either player's turn, if you have 1,000 life points or less, I don't, you can detach one Xyz material from this card uh, and banish one monster from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster on the field. That card's attack and defense become zero until the end of the turn. I prefer Shark Drake's effect, to be honest, over Shark Drake Vices, but that's just me. They're both useful in their own way. Right, please be low. Uh, that's not incredibly low. But I will activate the effect of Shark Drake. And I will remove Shocktopus on the hope that I may get at some point. That at some point I might get maybe a Call of the Haunted, just in case I need it. That's a lot of damage. <clears throat> and I have Mirror Force down. Okay, well unless you miss your Space Typhoon me, I think I win here. Yep, bring on your Dreary Doll. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh no, you could summon Giant Grinder. Nope! Instead, you're just gonna give me the win! Okay, fair enough. Uh, we got Metabo Shark. When this card is normal summoned, you can target two uh, fish-type monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle those targets in your deck. Well, I really don't want to be doing that, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, well... Unless you have something to stop me, I win. We can get rid of Hammer Shark this time. How the hell? How the hell did Quattro just let me win that one? And I got absolutely murdered the last two times. Ah, oh, jeez, that was bloody easy. Because Quattro just didn't go anywhere near. Do you want us to do one more duel while we're at it? Yuma, we're doing some more fighting, this time against Nistro. With, um, what cards have you got? I'm trying to think of what cards you have. Oh, you got the, you got the champion cards, haven't you, Nistro? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, to be honest, Yuma, Yuma's deck is actually not great. The Utopia archetype isn't brilliant, to be honest, and Yuma's cards are a mess. Uh, right, that's not a bad start, I guess. I mean, one-shot wand is useless. Um, I mean... I've got to play Go 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 Giant, I guess. That's probably my best starting play. And that's it. Because I can get two Gar 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 Gardeners out if you decide to try and attack it. Heroic Challengers, that's what they're called. Okay, you have Blue Mountain. Hey, Blue Mountain Butter Spy, that's not your deck. That's not your deck, what are you doing? No! Heroic Champion Excalibur, okay. 2,000 attack, so same as same as uh, my Giant right now. However, it has an ability. Which doubles its attack points. Also, hang on a minute. Oh, declares a direct attack. Bollocks. Okay, that's not brilliant then. Yeah, so, uh, this card. Once per turn, you can detach two Xyz materials from this card. This card's attack become double its original attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, what I am going to do, actually, I'm going to lightning. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lightning vortex you. This one-shot wand is kind of pointless, so I'm just going to get rid of it and then get rid of your thing. Um, I'm not going to play anything this turn. I'm not going to do it. Your turn. Ooh, ha! You had nothing. I have another giant. I can special summon uh, a go go monster in defense position. Uh, then this card changes, uh, then changes this card to defense position. If this card attacks, it's changed to defense position. Sounds fine by me. go go Giant number two coming in! And I'm gonna activate the effect of go go Giant to get my other go go Giant back in the game, which means, well, we know what's happening here, don't we? <laughs> I could go into gar gar, gar Cowboy. I guess. Uh, you can detach one Xyz material from this card to apply this effect. Depending on the current battle position. Attack. Uh, if this card attacks an opponent's monster this turn, it gains 1,000 attack. Also, the opponent's monster lose loses 500 attack during the damage step. Or I can inflict 800 points of damage if it's in defense position. I'm also going to summon Utopia because I have double or, l or nothing in my hand. <coughs> Which is quite useful. Incredibly useful, actually. But I would like to bait out some of that back row first. 
I could also just go straight into uh, Utopia Ray. Um, un unfortunately, I don't have uh, less than a thousand life points, so it's a bit of a waste, really. Let's go for the attack. Uh, no. Haha! <laughs> 2500 immediately. Good start. In fact, if you don't draw a monster, I think I win next turn. Nistro, you drew more back row. I might just go for the win now. I think I'm going to go for the win now. Go, 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 Gygus. While this card is in your graveyard, especially summon a go, go monster. Uh, except during the damage death, you can special summon this card from your graveyard and face up defense position. You cannot protect your battle face up. Oh, go away, garbage ass shit. Because I'm, I'm going to do a very anime thing right now. I'm going to go for game with Utopia. No, I'm not the... Never mind, pinpoint guard. Okay, yep, you're defending with him. All right. Well, congratulations, you have survived a... T you have survived... No! You absolute ball bag. Well, there goes my Utopia. That's fine. I could probably get another one out at some point. I mean, you have nothing when it comes to that. Do you actually have a monster to play? You do. Oh, great. Here comes another heroic challenger. Oh, it could be a strong one Well, as well with level three. No. What? When an opponent's monster declares direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is targeted for attack, you can uh, discard one card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. I mean, yeah. I'm just going to make sure that doesn't happen. Take damage. In my oh! Oh, well, that sucks. That sucks quite a lot, that does. I'm just going to lose to Nistro. Uh, okay, Gandiva. 2100 attack. Not good. Not good at all. What do you do then? What was that, actually? Target one face up for a monster you control. Equip this card to that target. All battle damage you take from battles involving the equipped monster also are also inflicted to your opponents. After damage calculation, destroy any opponent's monster that battles the equipped monster. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, I can't conduct my battle phase. What do you do? Once per turn, when a level 4 or lower monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, um, except during the damage stuff, you can detach one Xyz material destroy that special summon monster. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna set you. You can't beat over that. Even if it is an Xyz monster, you can't beat over Go 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 Gygus. Gygus is gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Take that, you sod. Now I can get Utopia back out, so you can go get screwed. Me oh no, never mind. Oh, do I go Lightning Vortex? Do I go Lightning Vortex or do I go into Utopia? I mean, I'm going into Utopia, let's be honest. I am going into Utopia. I'm going to keep double or nothing just in case I need it. Here's a Gagagar -ga -ga Gardener. And here comes um, Sod You. It's Utopia number two, Nistro. Hope you enjoy this one. You didn't enjoy the last one, apparently. Okay. I mean, if I had another card in my hand, I could I could win this turn. So if I was to double its attack, I'll only do 3,300 points of damage. That's not enough. That is not enough. I'd rather get rid of Gandivar. I mean, what do you do? You're supposed to summon one heroic challenger double lance from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Cannot be used synchronous synchronous material. Cannot be used as an Xyz material for an Xyz summon, except for the Xyz summon of warrior type. Well, that just sucks. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for the attack. I'm going to try and get over that. Bugger. Um, oh! What the hell? Double its attack during this battle phase, then change it to the attack target and proceed damage death, but monsters cannot be destroyed by this battle. Okay! So that attack's going to go down. That's not the worst thing in the world. Defense mode. Of course you are. Of course you are. Well. Now. You're buggered. I'm going to discard Mirror Force. 
to destroy you. Right. Let's go for this now. I'm activating the effect of Utopia, blocking its attack. By getting rid... Oh, that's why. Go, go, Gigas. Get out of here, mate. I'll now activate the effect of Double or Nothing. On Utopia. And allowing it to attack again. 5,000 damage. Goodbye, Nistro. We were barely able to just get straight through your... Essentially, your... You trying to control and battle me? It failed. Ah, oh, right. Well, that was long. That was quite fun, actually. We got three of them done. That's quite good. How much have we got left of uh, Zexel? We still got a fair few left, haven't we? Yeah. We have a fair few to go, but we're... Well, I'd say we're nearly halfway through Zexel. We're getting close to the end of the... Um, of essentially the World Duel Carnival at this point, which is pretty much the entirety of Season 1 and a part of Season 2. So, I'm going to go for a break here, but in the next episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, I'm back after six months, and hopefully it doesn't take me six months to do the next episode. Ah! Um, yeah, looks like Yuma versus Shark. This is going to be an interesting one. Guarantee he's going to absolutely Shark Drake me. Anyway, I'll see you then.